You know this guy. Mike Epps has been in the comedy game for three decades. He's appeared in dozens of movies and TV series. But right now, right now, Mike Epps is having a moment. I mean, don't you love watching yes. somebody have a moment? Not only yeah. has he been cast in some huge projects like the new Marvel movie, he's also got the number one sitcom on Netflix, The Epshaws. And Mike is back for season two. Take a look. Why is your mom's boyfriend picking you up? <laughs> because mama got time issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all got the inside jokes. Yeah, well, since you driving him, make sure he's in a car seat. He's a teenager. Yeah, I know. We got inside jokes, right, son? We've never done that, ever. Yeah, okay, well, we doing it now, okay? <laughs> Laugh, son. Laugh. Laughs. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. You know what I love? It's an old school comedy, yes. but it's so in this moment right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, thank I, you. And I love you and Wanda and the partnership you all created. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah. You, well, you know, when you, when you get a chance to work with somebody like Wanda Sykes, a comedy genius, you come up with magic, you know? <laughs> um, I've been knowing Wanda for a long time in the comedy business, so by the time we got on the TV set, it was like, Hey, hey, girl, let's do this. So natural. Yeah, yeah. Wait, but is it true that you just called her and you're yeah. like, listen, I want to do a show about my family, about yeah. a family, and I want you to be part of it? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, you know, this story was uh, a derivative from me and my hometown, and um, I called Wanda. I said, Wanda, I, I got this great idea, and you fit right in there, <laughs> you know? So she said, let me check it out. I'll check it out. And she called me back. She, uh, she loved it, and we took it to Netflix, and... They put us on, man, and I'm I'm so grateful, man. You well, know, they put you on, and this thing hit number one. Did yeah. you? Was that a shocker to you, or did you believe like this thing has the potential? Yeah, you know, it's, it's always a shocker, you know, because being in the business as long yeah. as we've been in the business, we've always always tried to have good TV shows. We've had series that didn't work, series that failed, so. When it works, you're like, oh, man, it is a shocker. Yeah. 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 We actually, you know, we were saying you're having a moment, and oh, we believe man, that. It. You mm -hmm. said you had a teacher that said mm -hmm. something about some sort of metaphor about soup and why, like, yeah. it's okay to wait. Like, your dreams will oh, come. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that, that's a message that I always like to tell the, the kids out there is, you know, when you're young, you want things yes. right now. Yeah. You want instant gratification. But when you let it cook on the stove and you let it simmer, you never know what kind of great opportunities waiting for you, and you'll be prepared for it. So I'm kind of glad uh, I got it later on, you know, instead of when I was young, you know? You keep saying that it gets greater later. There's something about the, about the weight. Was there ever a period in your, in your journey where you thought to yourself, well, you know, things aren't quite hitting the way I want, mm -hmm. and maybe this wasn't my path, and this is a sign that I should get off this road? Um, <laughs> no, I never, never. thought that you never way. Doubted it. No, I That's never good. doubted it because it was something that I was passionate about, you knew. and I loved it. And this was something that I mean, not the acting part, but the stand-up part. That's something I would do for free. Really? But uh, promoters, don't y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just said that out loud. Yeah, let me straighten that out. Promoters, <laughs> you're gonna get take it. that back. Can we talk about your adorable 11-month-old? Son, ah, your yeah, first, Mike, man. your first oh, son. You man. have a lot little of daughters, oh, six daughters, look at that. and now a son. Ah, my, that's my boy. Yeah, that's my boy, Mike, little Mike Jr. I got, I got six beautiful daughters, and man, God bless those. Those are my beautiful daughters Thank right family. there. What a gorgeous family. What's yeah, it like I've been holding, really blessed. What's it like holding that little boy? Man, he he's he's like a little fat Winnie the Pooh. I just <laughs> squeeze him and you know He's so cute. It, it's such a blessing, man. He he, he looks like my mother and my father Aww. and my wife. I, I just wanna thank her a million times for hmm. having my son. Thank uh. you. Kyra, I love you, baby. Thank you so much. So oh, sweet. So you know, sweet. one of Hoda's favorite questions to ask in interviews is what your childhood bedroom mm -hmm. looks like. She loves to take people back to their childhood. Yeah. You did that, and so we want you to, to answer that, but you actually just did that literally. You bought all the houses mm -hmm. on yeah. the block you grew up? Yes, me and I bought all the houses on my block. Uh, because, you know, uh, the country's going through a massive gentrification. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to make sure that I could still come back to my old block. So I bought a bunch of the houses back in the day when they was $5, you know. 
Now they're worth 250000 wow. So me and my wife are actually doing a television show called uh, uh, By the Block Back on HGTV. How awesome. Oh, By the Block Back. That's yeah. awesome. What, what, did, describe your childhood bedroom. What was it like? Uh, messy clothes all over the floor. And, you know, one time our, our, our door fell off. The, I mean, we were some wild kids. The door <laughs> fell off. And we just start sleeping on the door. Did you share a room? We put a, man, put a sheet on the door. <laughs> how many kids? How, how many, many kids? kids? In a room. Yeah. Oh, man, it was eight of us. Yeah. And we had to hide food. You know, when you live in a house with a bunch of kids, you got to hide your honey bun way in the back <laughs> of the refrigerator behind the baking soda, you know. Behind, if you're going behind the baking soda, you're Big really hidden. hiding. Yeah. All right, Mike. Mike. Thank you so oh, much. We're so ladies. happy you're here. Congratulations Congrats. on Thank the Upshaws. You. you can catch season two of the Upshaws on Netflix right now.